welcome to Bani Hashim Brigade. Today we will expose the deceit of the apostate prophet again. Deceivers as well as blatant liars like apostate prophet and David Wood have lied in numerous times that Quran has mistake and they have pointed out by taking out meaning of Quranic verses themselves that Mary the mother of prophet Jesus is sister of prophet Moses and Aaron peace be upon them all. This is ridiculous because common Muslims, learned Muslim scholars, the companions of the Prophet themselves and the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him himself did not know that Quran says such a thing. Even if you would ask a six year old Muslim kid where mother Mary and Prophet Moses brothers and sisters, he would certainly reply a big no. While the whole Muslim community does not claim such a thing, I wonder how come liars like apostate prophet and David would forcefully impose such a claim on the Muslims? Anyway, let's expose their lies. They say, Quran says that Mary is the daughter of Imran, which is absolutely correct. Then they say, Quran says that wife of Imran gave birth to Mary, who then gave birth to prophet Jesus peace be upon him. This is also correct. Then they say, Quran also calls Mary the mother of Jesus as sister of Aaron and from these three statements they claim that Quran says that Mary the mother of Jesus was the real sister of Aaron and Moses and all were children of Imran and the reason they say for this mistake is because Moses and Aaron truly had a sister named Miriam and Quran and Prophet Muhammad confused Mary for Miriam. Now this is absolutely ridiculous. Anyway we will answer it because people are believing such lies. Listen carefully. Imran the father of Mary and Imran the father of Moses, Aaron and Miriam are two different persons who lived centuries apart. This is what Quran, Prophet Muhammad and companions of the Prophet and Muslims have known. We will show you hadiths to explain that but first take a look at the complete genealogy of the Prophets to understand. This is mentioned in the book Kitab al tabaqat al-Kabir by Ibn Saad. Here the list of Prophets and their fathers has been given clearly. And this book is 12 centuries old. The author of this book was born even before Imam Bukhari and Muslim were born. Here we can clearly see that Moses and Aaron are the sons of Imran who is the son of Qahit, the son of Lavi, the son of Jacob, the son of Isaac and the son of Abraham. Notice carefully, Moses and Aaron were sons of a man named Imran. Then again, after a lot of generations, we can see the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Look clearly. It's again written clearly. Jesus, the son of Maryam, the daughter of Imran, who is again the son of Mathan, and they are from the descendants of Yehuda or Judah, the son of Yaqub or Jacob. I wonder from where did they combine two different Imrans themselves and started spreading the lies against Islam. First of all, if at all Quran and Prophet Muhammad and companions of the Prophet would have confused Mary, the mother of Jesus for Miriam, the actual sister of Moses, then no doubt they would have always believed Mary and Moses to be living during the same period. In fact, Miriam was older sister of Moses and Aaron as stated in the Quran. And if Muslim would have been confused, then Mary gave birth at a very young age to Jesus Christ. So both Jesus and Moses should have been explained to live together in the Islamic scriptures. And this is certainly not the case. To make you understand that there are two different Imrans at two different times, let's dive into Islamic scriptures. We have the following hadith from Sahih Bukhari that clearly states that Mary the mother of Jesus was the daughter of a man named Imran. This is also clearly stated in the Quran as you have seen earlier. Narrated by Abu Huraira, 
I heard Allah's messenger saying amongst all those women who ride camels the ladies of Quraysh are the best they are merciful and kind to their offspring and the best guardians of their husband's properties Abu Huraira added Mary the daughter of Imran never rode a camel Another hadith explains that father of Moses and his brother Aaron was also a man called Imran You can see from this hadith Ibn Abbas the son of prophet's uncle told us that the messenger of Allah had observed On the night of my night journey I passed by Moses bin Imran I passed by Moses the son of Imran peace be upon him So now we will see how prophet and his companions knew that these are two different Imrans at two different times narrated by Ibn Abbas There was a span of 1900 years between Musa ibn Imran and Isa ibn Maryam. Do you notice that there was a span of 1900 years between Musa ibn Imran and Isa ibn Maryam. Then again at the bottom we can see there was a span of 569 years between Christ's nativity and the birth of Prophet Muhammad. Come on this ends up the chapter of your confusion you can clearly see that companion of prophet muhammad peace be upon him clearly states that moses the son of imran and jesus the son of mary the daughter of imran lived 1900 years apart remember quran states clearly that jesus was the son of mary the daughter of imran Also the genealogy shown before should be enough to make you understand that there were two different Imrans at two different times and there is no confusion of Mary the mother of Jesus being the true sister of Aaron and Moses in the Muslim world Now the question remains is why God in the Quran calls Mary the mother of Jesus as sister of Aaron Note one thing that prophet Jacob peace be upon him had 12 sons of those were levi and juda or yahuda from the descendants of levi moses and aaron were born whereas from the descendants of juda or yahuda mary the mother of jesus was born this makes mary the sister of aaron from great grandfather prophet jacob this is just genealogically speaking we have the following hadith from sahih muslim on this issue when i came to najran they asked me i the christians they asked me you read o sister of harun in the quran whereas moses was born much before jesus when i came back to allah's apostle i asked him about that whereupon he said the people of the old age used to give names to their persons after the names of apostles and pious persons who had gone before them so prophet explained clearly that in olden days people used to give names to their people in relation to pious persons who have passed before them that's why they called mary the mother of jesus as sister of aaron because aaron was a pious man who has passed before and mary was also a pious lady that's why they add they addressed her as sister of aaron this is quite common even today take the example of mahatma gandhi who was well known for non violence Though he has passed before if a man of today's generation is found to be non violent he is referred as the gandhi's brother this is just because they both have quality of non violence some can even call that person as gandhi's father if the person exceeds the qualities of non violence than gandhi this is general use of language and i am sure that all of you must have used such relations in your life So after all the exposure to the truth I hope that truth must have enlightened you do not be deluded by those liars they will drive you to hell fire by their lies stay close to islam and truth the liars will be exposed soon subscribe to my channel to try to protect yourself from such misguided people